stampers, it's Julie DiMatteo here from the Paper Pixie and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and today I wanted to share with you this beautiful paper rose wreath that I made. It's created out of just over 200 paper roses and in today's video I'm going to show you first how to make a paper rose and then we'll come back to this wreath and I'll give you some tips and tricks on how I pulled it all together. So let's get started. I used our Biggs Clear Circle Die and cut out a circle from Cherry Cobbler cardstock. You could cut the circle freehand, but when you're making 200 roses, I'd much rather use a die. We're going to first cut a spiral starting from the outside inwards, and I'm going to keep it at about a half of an inch thick. And as you'll see, I'm turning the cardstock but leaving the scissors in the same position. It gives you more control with the cardstock. Does not need to be perfect. I think um, imperfections give these roses more character. And you just go just to the inside here again, keeping this all about a half of an inch thick. And then I round out this pointed edge here that's created once you start to cut the spiral towards the inside of the center. All right. Now, the next step is we're going to roll the cardstock. I prefer to use a quilling tool, which you can get from the craft store. The reason why I like this is it has a little slit at the end of it that holds the cardstock in place. I find it's just easier to work with in keeping the cardstock tight as you roll it. You could use our paper piercer or even just roll it by hand, but uh, this is just gives me more control. So you're going to start to roll from the outside in, keeping this cardstock tightly rolled as you go. And I find uh, using my thumb, index finger, and middle finger kind of with a triad here just holding it in place makes it go a lot easier. And try to keep the, ed the bottom edge of the cardstock stacked on top. It doesn't have to be so, but it just makes it easier with the end result. And then you just roll it right up until the end of your cut of the spiral and then take your tool out. I'm still holding the rose tightly so it's not unraveling at this point. And I'll just pinch this a little bit just to ha so it keeps a little bit tighter. Now the next step is really up to your preference. Um, we're going to let it unravel just slightly but the, it's up to your preference how much you want it to unroll. Um, with the wreath that I made, I sort of I varied how much I let these unroll just so I'd have a couple different sizes of roses. So I'm going to turn it upside down so you can see it on the camera. But I'm just going to loosen my grip ever so slightly. See how it starts to unroll? And wherever you want it to stop, just apply some additional pressure and it'll stop unraveling. So I'm going to stop it here. And then I'm just going to use my thumb and forefinger and pinch from top to bottom try to get that cardstock all flush up against itself on the bottom here. See if you can see that in the camera. I'm going to add some hot glue here. Uh, we're going to adhere the rose so it stays together. And I like to add the hot glue to the spiral part here as opposed to the bottom. I feel it just get I just get better glue coverage that way. Okay. So I'm holding it between my index finger and middle finger and I'm just going to flip it over and press down to get that spiral to stick to the bottom of the cardstock. If you let go of this too soon you'll see that the hot glue hasn't set yet and it'll begin to unravel some more so just be patient and hold it for a few seconds and once you make a bunch of these roses you get the feel for when you can let go of it also quick to stop unraveling if you let go too soon. But there you have it, a beautiful paper rose. I've made several of them at the moment. And you can see how they're all just slightly different. Okay, so now back to the wreath. 
I'm gonna flip it over and show you what I started with. This is a 12 inch styrofoam wreath form. Just bought it from the craft store. And I started with one rose and one rose only and I just randomly glued it anywhere on the wreath. And from that rose, that was my starting point and then I just kept tightly gluing additional roses sort of in clusters. I just kept building in a cluster. What's nice about these roses is these, this outside edge of the petals um, is fairly pliable and so it's easy to kind of smush these roses in tight together and this will also fill in any gaps with, so you don't see the styrofoam in between the roses. The finishing touches to this wreath was a mixture of our champagne mist shimmer paint and 70% isopropyl alcohol. I created a shimmer spray and I just liberally sprayed this wreath all over and it just adds a gorgeous touch to it. I would suggest if you are planning on making this wreath because first of all it's totally worth it this end result is gorgeous but I would suggest you know just make a few roses a day. It, the project probably took me um, anywhere from 8 to 10 hours I think. I just did it over several days maybe a full week and I'd just make some roses and then I'd adhere them to the wreath and take a break you know for a day or two it was well worth it and what's going to be so nice is I'm going to have this wreath for many years to come um, this is my Christmas wreath so it will hang proudly on my front door and I'm just so excited about it I found the idea on Pinterest which is a fabulous resource and just knew I had to try it so if any of my viewers do end up trying this wreath, I'd love to see your creations. So leave a comment on my blog and I'll check them out. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks again for visiting the Paper Pixie and have a great day.